welcome back to Web Squadron. We're gonna do a quick review of code snippets. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have seen developers or people in forums, they say, hey, you wanna add a bit of code, go and use code snippets. And you're going, code snip, what, 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 what? I, I don't even wanna touch, go anywhere near scissors. Don't worry, it's nothing to do with scissors. But basically what it is, is um, it's very common when you learn about websites or working with themes, you get told, use a child theme. And you might go, well, since when were we a family? The child theme is where you're taking the theme and you make some modifications to it because you're fine tuning it or tailoring it to you or your client's website. So it might be that, for instance, you've got a theme. This is not a theme, by the way, but let's say this was a theme. OK, well, it is a theme. I'm using Hello, by the way, in the background. And I now decide that I want the um, uh, a part of this to always look a certain way. OK, the Hello theme or the Astro theme or whatever. You can get a bit of code that you develop yourself or from someone else and you can add it into your theme. And let me just show you what I mean here. So I'm just gonna go into my dashboard, okay? I'm gonna go to appearance and you have themes. Customize, you know, that's just basic. That's not actually gonna touch your child theme really. And then you have theme editor. Now, when you go to theme editor, it's gonna say, are oh, you sure you wanna touch this? And believe me, do not say, yeah, let's just do it unless you're sure what you're doing. And what you can do at the bottom over here or somewhere is right at the bottom, you might decide to add in a bit of code. You might modify this code, but you might add in a snippet, a bit of code, PHM, whatever, something like that, PHM, PHP, you might add that in, and then you're gonna hit update file. And that will then update for your theme. The trouble is though, when your theme updates, which happens quite a lot in most areas, it will overwrite that code. And that's not great when that happens because sometimes then you got to put the code back in. There is a much safer way to do this. So what you do is you put the code in to code snippets. OK, that's what we're talking about here. You add your code into code snippets and no matter how many times you update your theme or whatever else, that code will always activate. OK, so if you've done something where you have said, I want to modify the header or I want to make the background a certain color or I want a certain widget to always be positioned in a certain location. This is the best and safest way to do it. So let's just go through an example. What you do first is go to plugins and add new. And you just want to do a search for code snippets. Like so. And you will find it. And you install it. And after installing it, you activate it. I always get excited about plugins, you know, but don't overdo plugins, by the way, all right? Don't go crazy with them. Always have to stop and think, do I really need it? Right. I'm just going to enable the auto updates for this. And I'm now going to go into snippets. By the way, if you don't do it via here, you can, you'll have the option over here, also called snippets, and it has got scissors as well. So when you're in code snippets, you're going to see lots of example code. And don't do what a lot of people sometimes do is you delete everything. You go, oh, I don't want this. Keep it. Because the fact that the developers have given you these example codes is a blessing. And I'll tell you why. If you go to, say, uh, the HTML short code, OK, and you find a bit of code, maybe you invent it yourself or you find one from someone and you just kind of paste it in like doing something like that. I mean, this is CSS code. It's a bad example. OK, but I then do save changes and activate. You're going to get an error. And the reason you get the error, let me just hit back, is because you've gone and removed some important pre and post coding or schema uh, that you need to take into account. What you would do is you normally put your code in, sorry, you normally put your code in here, okay? You don't overwrite what else sits within there because it helps the HTML code to function. And if I go back to the CSS one, I don't need that code there because I was testing something out. So if we just go to the example code snippet here or CSS snippet, this is where you would paste in your code, like so. And I'm gonna explain what this code is in a moment. I'll come back to this. And then you would save and activate, okay? So make sure you do not remove what sits above and below. Right, let's just go back to all snippets now. What you'll also notice is that you can activate and deactivate snippets. So let's say you've got about 20 snippets in there and maybe one of them is no longer needed. Rather than deleting it, I would just deactivate it. But there may also be an instance where 
you don't where there's a certain sequence whereby this code must activate before this code before this code i can't think of a great example but let's say you had a sequence you do also have over here the priority so i might say that this code must activate after this code so i'll go over here to priority and i'll change it to 11. you can go all the way up to 99 you can start at one it's up to you most people just start at 10 and then work your way upwards but i'm going to leave that as zero for now so priority there. Another setting, which you don't have to do, but I think is really, really cool, and I think every plugin should have this, like, without fail, is over here you have a box where you say, if I uninstall, okay, or the plugin is removed or whatever, I want it to delete all of the snippets that I've added into here, okay, because there is always a chance that if you don't do that and you remove the plugin, some of those CSS snippets might still exist, in the WordPress backend multiverse universe, whatever we want to call it, it'll exist somewhere in the behind, right? So if you uninstall, you want all of them to go. And, and really, you don't really need to mess around with any other setting it. I would say just leave it as it is, okay? Don't start saying these are all good, good stuff they've got here. Well done to developers on this. Right. Let me now show you an example of what we're going to do. We're just going to double check that uh, that example code I was putting in is no longer activated. And I'm going to go over to my pages and I'm going to go to gallery. And what we're going to do is we are going to, let me just remove this here. We're going to add in a bit of text. Okay. And I just want to make a point. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste a bit of text and I'm going to hit delete after the very last Leo over there. But can you see over here? There is still this little bit of a return after the line. That happens with text editor. And some people don't mind, but if you're very specific about where everything is positioned, it can be a little bit annoying. So there's this little bit of a return. And what, what people tend to do is you go to text and you then start doing stuff like, you know, you either use breakpoints or paragraphs. And, you know, so I might put two of them in there so it does a breakpoint. And look, the bit underneath has disappeared. Okay, so all I've done is removed that gap there. So the bit underneath is removed. But the trouble is, though, is that if then later on I come back and I want to add in another word here in the top paragraph, well, now that's changed over here. And if I delete it, it's still there. And what I have to do is go back into my text. The breakpoints have disappeared. And now I've got to add them all back in again. So if you've got a massive amount of text, that can be super, super annoying. Okay. Right, let's now add that text in to our code snippets. So let's just go back. Let's just update that. And let's now go back to code snippets. Right, so we're going to go over to snippets and we're going to add in some CSS code. So what we'll do is we will clone the example CSS snippet. We'll hit clone and it's probably going to be somewhere over here. And we're going to edit it. And we're going to call this remove text, remove text extra returns, okay? And I'm going to copy that and I'm just going to paste that wording over. Whoa, I've pasted in the lorem. I don't want the lorem. We're going to copy over the remove text and we're just going to paste that there. What's really good about this description, I think, is that let's say you get a bit of code from the Elemental Community Facebook group or from GitHub or just from somewhere. Someone has supplied you with some code for your WooCommerce or your directory, just something, okay, uh, for your LMS. You know, because there's only so much you can do with a plugin and you're going to use CSS to define how it looks. You can put it in here and you can put the URL of where you got that code from. So next time when you want to refine it or you've got a query or you're unsure about it, you know where to go to. So that's really, really cool, I think. Yay! Write your CSS code here. It's pretty explicit. So I put my code in there and I then hit save changes and activate. Now, if I got the error message that I showed you before, that means that we've probably removed or included something we shouldn't have. So just go back a step, start with the example and put your code exactly where it tells you to put it. Right, let's now go over to our pages. And if we now look at that same example we have over here, there is no carriage return. If I now go over here and I add in a bit of text, there is still no carriage return. Let me just get rid of the extra return I had there. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So if I now add in text like so, look, it's not adding a carriage return at the bottom there. And if I go over to this Leo, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Look, it's not adding in another return. 
okay? So it's basically doing what we want it to do. I mean, obviously play around with your spacing and line spacing, um, don't worry about that, but we're not getting that extra carriage return at the bottom. And I think that is just brilliant. It now means that I don't have to add it into my custom CSS code. So if you haven't got Elemental Pro, which you should get, okay, you you know, if you haven't got that, you might be struggling to use this tab down here, or you might not feel confident with doing that. But with code snippets, you now can be courageous, okay, grab a bit of code that either you've written yourself or someone has supplied to you, add it in over here, and now you can actually remove the need for having a child theme. Because when that plugin updates or that theme updates, your LMS, your directories, loads of things that we're using, that bit of code that you spent time putting in could disappear. And you'll go to your website, your client will, and go, hold on, everything's just like messed up. What's going on here? And you're thinking, well, I didn't touch the code. You didn't touch the code. Sorry, the update removed the code. Not anymore. Code snippets keeps it there for you. This is free. This is simple and easy. I love it. You know, it just, I'm not a coder, by the way. I am not a coder, but I feel more confident with coding, with using this. I hope, I hope this helps you, you know, and, and you know, go and have a go. Code snippets, totally free, totally easy, and you won't regret it.